American Time, Integrated Solutions from the Clock Experts. Depending on the system controller you purchased, the navigation tabs may vary slightly. The general tab is typically something that you set once and forget it unless your clock code changes, you move the location of the system controller, or you need to manually adjust your clocks. The first drop-down that you will see within the general tab is clock code. Clock code and clock correction code are used interchangeably. This is the correction code for running your wired clocks in sync with your wireless clocks. There is more explanation of clock codes in Appendix I of your system controller manual. If you aren't running wired clocks, turn the clock code off. If you are running wired clocks, choose your clock code. You'll notice the options in the bottom right hand part of your screen will change depending on your clock code. For the first example, I will choose clock code 1 and click update. Now I'm able to manually adjust my synchronous clocks. If your minute hand is incorrect on your clocks, click 1 hour and wait for the screen to refresh. Your clocks will take up to 3 minutes for each button press to adjust. If your hour hand is incorrect, click the 12 hour button and wait for your screen to refresh. There will be a maximum delay of 13 minutes for each 12 hour button press to allow your clocks to adjust. In my second example, I will choose clock code 2 and I will get the option to manually adjust my impulse clocks. You can only use the calculated adjustment or the direct secondary clock adjustment at one time. If you want to use the calculated adjustment, you'll have to put in the time of your secondary clocks and hit adjust. For instance, if your system controller is accurately saying the time is 1240 and your impulse clocks are saying that it's 1230, you'll have to put in 1230 and click adjust. The time on your clocks will then adjust to the system controller time. To use the direct secondary clock adjustment, you'd put in 10 minutes because we want to advance the clocks from 1230 to 1240, a 10 minute adjustment and then click Adjust. The device name is the location or the name of the system controller. Here you might want to type in the high school or middle school name or an explanation as to where the circuits and events are activated by the system controller. I'll set this one to Lincoln High School. For customers with more than one system controller installed, this helps identify the unit that you are connected to. A field grayed out means that it's either factory set or is automatically filled in during the system controller installation. Previous and next signal allow you to view upcoming events in sequential order. This feature doesn't allow you to view past events. You can only view upcoming events. To view and modify a complete list of past and future events, you can click on the event tab.